What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel, Sneakers and Chris. I'm back here with another shoe review for you guys here today. Today, here we have the Adidas ZZ 700 B2, Mauve, Mauve, whichever way you want to say it. But I'm gonna give you guys a quick 360 before starting on this video. A quick one, quick one. All right, pause, pause, pause. As always, guys, I just want to, I just want to say thank you guys for stopping by and watching my video. If you guys do enjoy this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you rate the shoe down below. Make sure you let me know if you guys copped it or passed. Let me, let me know what you guys think about it. Um, yeah, just chat it up in the chat. And aside from that, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you guys can follow me at Chris Mia underscore, which is my personal. If you guys want to follow the sneaker pages, you guys can follow um, Sneakers and Chris on Instagram, Sneakers and Chris on TikTok. And if you guys want to rock with the boy. With his um with my partner and I, I got a clothing brand for men and women. You guys can always check that out and support. It's tapping through a five. Got it on the hat right here. Tapping through a five. You guys want to show some love and support and rock with us? Go ahead. Tapping through a five. But that's pretty much it. Let's get straight into this video. All right, so let's jump straight into the box as we always do. You know, easy always keep the same box, nothing special. Got your brown box with the, with the words and kind of black. Seven hundred. On um, right here, boost. Nothing on this side. And this is how it looks on the bottom, the Adidas sign right here. And then where the label is at, let me adjust the lighting. Make sure you guys take a picture or screenshot or whatever, just so you guys can see how the label looks, the whole box look. I'll read it for you guys, Easy Boost 700B2. Um, This is size 10. Um, You got move, move, move three times on the top and the bottom. And they got originals, originals, two time, top and bottom. And you got made in China. And then you got the code thing, GZ0724. And I like to show all these little details just in case you guys are buying this from somebody you guys don't know, you guys could see how everything look, you know, the real pair, you know? Basically like a legit thing, legit check video. And then after that, none else but the paper wrapping and the shoe inside. So now that we're done with the balls, let's jump straight into the shoe. So this shoe released today, Saturday, September 25th, alongside with the Jordan 5 Moonlight. This should release um, at select retail stores. You had, um, and then you had online um, releases like um, Easy Supplies, Adidas, Confirm, and all those good stuff. And I hope you guys did touch. Um, I hope you guys went for it. Cause I feel like these, a lot of people slept on them just because, so a little detail, these kind of do look like the geodes. And this is, this is a V2, but we had the V1s mode that came out off the top of my head. I would say three years ago or four, I'm not sure. But I know I had them. That was my first, actually that was my first dub. The view on um, the view ones was my first dub on uh, sneakers and stuff, yeah. But it didn't um it didn't fit me, so I returned it. I returned it like a gook. Uh, it didn't fit me, but it was overall. I kind of missed it. Though. I should have just kept it in the collection because that was a clean shoe. And a lot of people was comparing these with the first move, obviously because of the name. And it kind of like the um some of the colors kind of you know kind of look alike. And then the geos, which is the the one that's getting more the most com um comparison. But let's jump straight into it. I wish I had all three pairs. I wish I had the Geos and the Move, the, um, the, um, the V1 to compare all three. But right now we just got these in our hand. So let's just, let's jump straight into to this colorway. So you have, you guys, I'm gonna give you a quick 360 again. You have the upper and that mesh colorway, that brown mesh colorway, kind of look like a knitting um, material, like your grandma be knitting um, some type of um, some type of jacket and stuff but apron whatever but some mesh um dark mesh um material and you have the laces reflective and kind of brown the reflective you have your um your reflective um uh, strips on the sides the three adidas strips on the side you have a new buck colorway black new buck colorway kind of look grayish black not really black black as you guys can tell in this video it kind of look grayish it's going all around the shoe even in the back and like i said reflective I'll try to put, I don't know if you guys can tell right now. I'll try to take a quick picture of video of it with the reflection on. Then you have your midsole. It would look clean and nice if they had put the little green thing that was on the V1s. I feel like it popped out a lot on the V1s. And that's something I'll miss, you know. It, it, it'll be nice to have that again. But I guess it is. I feel, I feel like if they had it, they probably wouldn't come. People, a lot of people wouldn't compare it to the geodes. But it, it is what it is. And then as we switch it over to the also, you have that gum also with the boost. The boost that we love so much popping out. It looks amazing. Then you have the Dita sign right here. Beautiful shoe. I ain't gonna lie. 700s always do well. And this retail at 240. Back then, 700 should be 300. So now you can't complain. It's getting cheaper. Um, Still good. Still smell good. It's getting cheaper. Not too sure if the materials are changing too bad. 
you know, I don't, I do not have a, the geos with me or any other pair right now of these. So I can't really compare the materials, but it doesn't seem too bad. Honestly, I could see, see, I could see through this material right here, but I'm not, no, on the camera, you guys probably won't be able to see it. But as I'm looking right now, I could see a little light through it, but it's not too bad. Um, going around the shoe, I don't see any glue stains. So it wasn't too bad on my pair. And then now going over it, you got the back of the tongue. You have your sizing tag on it. Take a screenshot, make sure to see how it looks. Let me tell you guys the production date. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. It was June 21st, June 21st on the tag, on the sizing tag. So just in case you guys can't see through the camera, June 0626. And then you have your Enso with the Adidas um, logo and the Yeezy logo. Is it upside down? Yeah, and then you have Impure Black. Show you guys the whole thing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty clean shoes. If you guys are here for sizing, 700s, what I would say for these, um, half a size up is not bad. So I wear a 10 and a half. I, I wear a 10 in regular most shoes, 10 or nine and a half. So I'll, majority of my shoes are 10. So I'll go for a 10 and a half on these. Um, I know for, some Yeezys, a lot of Yeezys, I do wear 11s, but 10 and a half wouldn't be bad. So half a size up wouldn't be too bad on these. And comfort on these are pretty nice just because of the boost. Um, like I said, not too sure because of the prices changing. I'm not too sure if materials are changing, but due to boost always being there, Yeezys has always been one of the best comfort, um, to be honest, honestly. One thing you can't forget about is this tag right here. Let me adjust the lighting so you guys can see how everything is written now. Just in case, like I said, just in case you guys are buying this at um from somebody you guys don't know, you got two extra um the brown tags. I like the brown. It, like I always say, it goes along, it goes with the shoes. You know, Easy don't really his colors. Kanye colors never really too loud. You know, he don't really he don't really make shoes with loud colors. It's always a subtle. A nice nature color. That's what I love about it. Nice color. Let's jump straight into rating. The rating for me on this shoe, honestly, it's not a crazy, it's not too crazy off with the geodes. I ain't gonna lie to you. So if you missed out on the geodes, this will be a pair for you to get. Honestly, it can the same way you match the geodes will be the same way you match this. You could typically rock this with anything, honestly. And yeah, it's not too bad. So I'm gonna rate this an eight. This shoe is pretty clean. The colors are pretty nice. Like I said, you can match it with a lot of stuff. And yeah, let me know if you guys um let me know what you guys think. What um, let me know what you guys rating is and let me know if you guys copped or not, or if you guys are gonna pass, or if you guys really think this is a geo uh 2.0 you know that's pretty much it guys thank you guys for stopping by and watching my video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you did we on the road to 300 subscribers and we're pretty close i think last time i checked i was at 290 if i'm if i'm not mistaken so we're on the way to 300 let's hit that 300 pretty soon and i'm gonna keep providing a lot of great reviews for you guys and that's pretty much it guys the sneakers and chris thank you guys for rocking with me and always rocking with me see you guys in the next one